G'day kids and grown-ups. If you are loving watching and learning with Aussie, it would be amazing if you could please do me a really big favour and just tell anybody else that you think might enjoy it too. In the meantime, enjoy this brand new episode, and as always, stay keen. Aussie, 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 oi. Aussie is a friend of yours, and he's a friend of mine. G'day kids, Aussie here. We've got another Australian classic on Storytime with Aussie today. This one's called Wombat Stew, and it's about a bunch of Aussie animals that have a bit of fun together and play a bit of a trick on a dingo, which is another Aussie animal, isn't it? There's also a little fun song in this one. Let's get stuck in. By Marsha K. Vaughan and Pamela Lofts. One day on the banks of a billabong, a very clever dingo caught a wombat and decided to make wombat stew. Wombat stew. Gooey, brewy, yummy, chewy wombat stew. Oh, doesn't sound very tasty to me. But I guess it would be for a dingo. Platypus came ambling up the bank. Good day, dingo, he said, snapping his bill. What's all that water for? I'm brewing up a gooey, chewy stew with that fat wombat, replied Dingo with a toothy grin. If you ask me, said Platypus, the best thing for a gooey stew is mud. Big blops of billabong mud. Blops of mud? Dingo laughed. What a good idea. Righto, in they go. So Platypus scooped up big blops of mud with his tail and tip them into the billy can. Tasty? Don't know. Around the bubbling billy, Dingo danced and sang, Wombat stew, wombat stew, gooey brewy, yummy chewy, wombat stew. Proud of himself, isn't he? Waltzing out from the shade of the iron barks came Emu. She arched her graceful neck over the brew Oh ho, Dingo, she fluttered. What have we here? Gooey, chewy wombat stew, boasted Dingo. Look, he's licking his lips. If only it were a bit more chewy, she sighed. But don't worry, a few feathers will set it right. Feathers? Dingo smiled. That would be chewy. Righto, in they go. So into the gooey brew, Emu dropped her finest feathers. Around and around the bubbling billy, Dingo danced and sang. Wombat stew, wombat stew, crunchy munchy for my lunchy, wombat stew. He's pretty proud. He's cooking up a big feast for himself. Old Blue Tongue the lizard came sliding off his sun-soaked stone. Silly Dingo, he hissed. There are no flies in this stew. Can't be wombat stew without crunchy flies in it. And he stuck out his bright blue tongue. Look at it, big long blue tongue. There's a lot to be said for flies, agreed Dingo, rubbing his paws together. Righto, in they go. So Lizard snapped 100 flies from the air with his long tongue and flipped them into the gooey chewy stew. And around and around the bubbling billy, Dingo danced and sang, Wombat stew, wombat stew, crunchy munchy for my lunchy wombat stew. Up through the red dust popped Echidna. Wait a bit, not so fast, he bristled, shaking the red dust from his quills. Now I've been listening to all this advice, and take it from me, for a munchy stew, you need slugs and bugs and creepy crawlies. Not for me. Maybe the dingo will like it. Dingo wagged his tail. Why, I should have thought of that. Righto, in they go. So Echidna dug up all sorts of creepy crawlies and dropped them into the gooey, chewy, crunchy stew. 
Very clever dingo stirred and stirred all the while, singing, Wombat stew, wombat stew, hot and spicy, oh so nicey, wombat stew. Just then, the sleepy-eyed koala climbed down the scribbly gum tree. Look here, he yawned. Any bush cook knows you can't make a spicy stew without gum nuts. Leave it to a koala to think of gum nuts, Dingo laughed and licked his whiskers. Righto, in they go. And into the gooey, chewy, crunchy, munchy stew, koala shook lots and lots of gum nuts. Aha, cried Dingo. Now my stew is missing only one thing. What's that? asked the animals. The fat wombat. Wait, stop. Hang on, Dingo. You can't put that wombat into the stew yet. Why not? You haven't tasted it. Righto. I'll taste it. And that very clever dingo bent over the billy and took a great big slurp of the stew. Ah! I'm poisoned, he howled. You've all tricked me. Uh, and they did, they all tricked him because they were all wombat's friends. They didn't wombat to get eaten, did they? And he dashed away deep into the bush never again to sing Wombat Stew, Wombat Stew, Gooey Brewy Yummy Chewy Wombat Stew. That's a great little book about all the little Aussie animals sticking together to make sure that their mate the wombat didn't get eaten by that big nasty dingo. Hope you love this book today kids. We'll see you on our next story time with Aussie. And until then, stay keen. Hey kids, did you have lots of fun today watching Aussie? I hope so. Did you know that we've got a heap of Aussie episodes on our YouTube channel? If you haven't already, go back and have a scroll through. I reckon you'll find some others that you absolutely love. And while you're there, why don't you hit subscribe? That way you won't miss out on any of our new videos that we bring out. We'll see you again soon, kids. Until then, stay keen. Oh, and by the way, did you happen to find the hidden Aussie icon in that video? Yeah, make sure you look closely because they're in every single video. That's right, stay keen, kids. Ozzy, 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 Oi! Ozzy is a friend of yours and he's a friend of...